In this video, we start building a perceptron-based classifier. As a reminder, we're following the code that's in the artificial intelligence book, which is uh, linked in the description. So uh, proceed, shall we? Um, so the perceptron is a neuron which receives uh, input, computes it, and then pr it produces an output. It is basically the building block of an artificial neural network. So uh, let's build one. We're going to start by importing uh, NumPy as NP. We'll also import uh, matplotlib pyplot as PLT. Um, and the library that we're going to work with, so import neurolab let's say as nl and the magic command matplotlib inline so that we can display the plots within the notebook all right let's run this now let's create uh, a very simple data set for classification so let's say num data set is going to be a numpy array of the following so let's say 0 0.22, 0 0.34, this is going to be 0. Another uh, sample, 0 0.21, 0 0.34, let's say 37. Uh, this is also going to be 0. Uh, a few more, so let's say 0 0.25. 0 0.31 this is also going to be in the zeroth class and um, so 3 0 0.76 0 0.19 this is going to be in the one class and the last one 0 0.84 0 0.14 and 1 so uh, the first two values represent uh, the features and the third one is the label in this array let's make uh, let's make sure we do that separation so uh, let's say features is num data set all of them all the way up to two and labels is going to be num data set all rows and only the second column and we're going to do a reshape num data set dot shape zero one so we have to convert it into a column vector before proceeding further. So this is kind of a uh, pre-processing. Okay, now let's briefly look um, at this data using matplotlib. So let's say PLT, we're going to do a scatter plot of the features, um, all of them zero features all of them one so our two features and then we're going to say plt x label we're going to label the x-axis as dimension one and the y-axis as dimension you could not guess two so plt title we're going to name it our input data and since we uh, input data, since we we've asked to display our plots in line, we don't have to uh, specify PLT show. Okay, so this is how our data looks like. Pretty simple. Uh, just a few points on a plot. Now uh, we're gonna set the maximum and minimum values for each dimension. So let's say dim one min dim 1 max, dim 2 min, dim 2 max, it's going to be, so 0 the minimum, 1 the maximum, 0 the minimum, 1 the maximum. Okay, so we have our input data. Uh, now, our output is going to be just a single neuron, 
because uh, our output is going to be either uh, 0 or 1. So let's say num output equals uh, labels.shape1. This is basically, uh, so we're, this is, what this means is actually that numput is equal to 1. Okay, now our data set is made of uh, five samples or rows and two dimensions or features or columns. So our perceptron uh, is going to have uh, two input neurons, each one for one dimension. So let's say dim1 is dim1 min and dim1 max and dim2 is going to be dim2 min dim2 max okay and finally uh, we're creating the perceptron using Neurolab so let's say perceptron equals Neurolab net new p so this is the method so new perceptron and we're gonna feed it our uh, dimension 1 dimension 2 and the output so our output neuron is going to be num output so new p is for single layer perceptrons uh, in uh, Neurolab all right uh, we'll stop here so we have the framework for our perceptron and in the next video we'll train it and do some visualization um, of the training process uh, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.